We're going to practice multiplying with decimals in this video. Here's problem one. There are three problems in this video. The first thing I want you to do is write this problem down on your communicator. At this point, I want you to pause the video, see if you can solve this by yourself, check your answer. If you didn't solve it right, then watch me do it. Otherwise, I need you to fast forward to the next problem. Did you get three and 96 hundredths? If you did, go to problem two, just fast forward. If you didn't, watch and see how I do it. First thing I'm gonna do is multiply by five. Five times four is 20, I'm gonna carry the two. 5 times 6 is 30, plus 2 is 32. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 3 is 13. You should have a 1, 3, 2, 0 on your first row. There are three steps that I have to do before I go on. The first is erase the numbers at the top. The second is cross out the number you're through with. And the third is make a happy face underneath each X. And now I'm going to multiply by 1. 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 6 is 6, 1 times 2 is 2. And that's what you should have gotten on the second row, and you add these together. You have 0, 6, 9, and 3. Okay, now what you need to do is go back up to the problem and underline how many numbers are behind the decimal point in the problem. That's how many have to be behind it in the answer. Your answer is three and 96 hundredths. Okay, here's problem number two. Write this problem on your communicator, pause the video, unpause it to check to see if you're right, and then if you're not, we'll do it together. Did you get $76.95? If you did, Skip over to problem three, which is the last problem. If you didn't, we're going to do it together. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply by five. Five times eight is 40. Seven times five is 35 plus four is 39. Five times zero is zero plus three is three and five times three is 15. You should have had a one, five, three, nine, zero on the first row. There are three steps that you have to do before you go on. The first is erase the numbers at the top. The second is cross out the number you're through with. And the third is make a happy face underneath each X. Now I'm gonna multiply by the twos. Two times eight is 16, carry the one. 2 times 7 is 14, plus 1 is 15, carry the 1. 2 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. And 2 times 3 is 6. And that's what you should have gotten on your second row. I'm going to add these numbers together. 0, 15, I'm going to carry the 1. It's 8 plus 1 is 9. This is 6, and this is 7. Now, I'm going to go up into the problem and I'm going to count how many numbers are behind the decimal point in the problem and make sure the same number are behind it in the answer. And your answer is $76.95. Here's your last problem. I want you to write this problem down, pause the video. When you're finished, check your answer. If you're right, you're done. If you're wrong, watch me do it, and then you're done. Did you get 47 and 216 thousandths? If you did, you're done. If you didn't, watch me and we'll do it together. First thing I'm gonna do is multiply by two. Two times eight is 16, carry the one. 2 times 0 is 0, plus the 1 is 1. 2 times 9 is 18. There are three steps that I have to do before I can go on to my next number. 
erase the number at the top, cross out the number I'm through with, and make a happy face underneath each x. And now I'm going to multiply by 5. 5 times 8 is 40. 5 times 0 is 0, plus that 4 is 4. 5 times 9 is 45. Okay, now I'm going to add both of these rows together. Because I'm multiplying with decimals, I now go back up to the problem, and I count how many numbers are behind the decimal point in the problem. That's how many have to be behind it in the answer. And your answer is 47 and 216 thousandths. And now you're done.